Nation of Intent, it is day 65. It's actually the, 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 the evening of day 65. Essentially five days to go. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I did put up the Cali link, by the way, for you to book your final scans. They're going to happen on Saturday, December. I can't believe it's December soon. December 4th and 5th. So please book your scans. I know a lot of people already have. And um, I guess let's get back into your into your feedback here. I didn't get a chance to read this yet, but it looks like quite uh, hefty feedback. So let's let's get into this. All right, this is under name something specific you can improve on for the following week. This person writes, I can work harder to get my heart rate up to 142 beats per minute during interval, high 130s, but over 40, hard to do. Resting heart rate is usually 46 to 50 beats per minute. Okay, so let me just say something here. Uh, your heart rate sounds to me like it's running much lower. I know we had this, this I feel like we had this, this, this discussion, but it was some time ago in the first challenge that you did. Just do your best with this. Ultimately, it's something to try to hit. I want you to try to try to get there, but in your case, you know, again, with these heart rate values, they're just estimates, okay? And this is one that we're gonna, we're gonna see more variation and depending on your background, uh, especially your your athletic background, so. You know, for example, if you were a an endurance athlete, we can expect to see your heart rate uh, running at a much more efficient rate, right? Much lower rate. This is my second challenge. I do four to five workouts per week, minimum of three cardio sessions uh, per week. I have been quite good with following the macros. I weigh everything for the entire 10 weeks with the exception of about six days. Special celebrations or travel and not able to weigh food or or just plain over eight. Definitely figuring out triggers for overcoming, sorry, for overeating. One, not enough protein. Yes, very good. There's many reasons why I have you eat a lot of protein, right? One of them is to keep you satiated. Number two, excessive neat or additional long hike or cardios. All right, well, in this case, if you're doing, you know, I don't know how long your hikes are, but if these are like multiple hour hikes, I would probably eat a little bit more for sure because you're burning, you know, you, you, if you're just walking, you're probably burning about 150 calories per hour. It depends, I mean, if you're on incline or not. But somewhere around 150, for this person, probably 150 calories per hour. So just keep this in mind, okay? If, especially if you're doing regular hikes. If it's like one, two hour hike and that's all you're doing and it's you don't do that very often, it's not that big of a deal. But if you're doing this regularly, then I would look at increasing your food during this during these days. Number three, stress about kids. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay, but generally getting the hang of what it takes to get lean and strong and not go in the wrong direction. I have watched every video and I've learned tons, learning that the process is more about lifestyle, yes, and working out has to be like brushing your teeth. Yes, totally. It's just an everyday thing. Ironically, I used to love cardio more than resistance training, but now I am finding this has reversed. Guess this is a good good for bone density and muscle mass as I get older. Yeah, I mean, for, for many things. There's a lot of things, obviously, that weight training is going to help you with. And I could include many here where just generally exercising is going to help you with. But one thing... Uh, beyond bone density and beyond muscle mass, which both declines as you age, especially if you're if you're female, just because of your hormone changes, but both decline for, for male and female, is your reaction time. And I'm not just talking about your ability to see something and then be consciously aware that it happened. I'm also talking about the ability to physically react to it. So for example, let's say you slip, right? You And you catch yourself. There is the... There's the cognition of realizing that you slipped and then there's the physical reaction to it. When you weight train regularly, you are creating a more efficient or you're maintaining the efficiency or the youthfulness of your nervous system. So your physical reaction to let's say something like slipping is better. You will be able to, you will essentially, you're just, you're, in many ways, you're, you're youthful, right? Muscle tone, 
um, skin tonicity, all these types of things, strength. These are obviously things that we assign to youthfulness, but also your reaction time. Your reaction time is much better. You'll be much quicker. You'll be much sharper mentally. And then, uh, and then uh, in addition that, like I mentioned, that physical reaction. Um, all right, how am I doing for time here? Five and a half minutes. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really, I don't, I don't necessarily want to say that I'm, I mean, kudos. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you like, that you seem to like weight training better than, than cardio. I'm, I feel the same way. Uh, but cardio has many benefits as well. So, you know, keep that up as well. But weight training for all of you, weight training, seriously, I'm going to highly recommend, especially if you are 50 years of age and older, keep it up three times a week, seriously. And I'm not, and it's still important for those of you who are younger than that. Name something specific you need help with. I think with all your excellent videos, no, thank you. And guidance on macros, great variety of exercises. I feel like it, I feel like I, I'm, I feel like I'm slowly getting it. I guess the one thing I didn't do was the overhead squat. It just seemed physically impossible for me. I would love you to demo this on a video. Actually, I just had somebody demo, I just had somebody video, video this uh, because I was looking at my form uh, a couple days ago. So I can post this. So maybe I'll put it in Slack or, uh, or I'll just, um, you know, I'll text it to you or something like that. I don't know if I can text it because it's, maybe it's too big. I'll get it to you, okay? All right, is there anything you'd like me to cover in this week's video series? Yes, you talk a lot about muscle recovery products like BCAAs and electrolytes. BCAAs, actually more importantly, EAAs. BCAAs fall within EAAs. EAAs are all your essential amino acids. BCAAs are three of the nine or arguably 10 essential amino acids. I love the ATP BCAA slash electrolyte combo. And I also like the beef protein. Yeah, it's actually ATP. It's actually um, creatine monohydrate. I, I know what you're saying here and you're, you're, you're not, it's not wrong what, what you wrote, but just for clarification, it's uh, the HMB and, um, HMB and uh, creatine monohydrate mix, uh, myoprime. And then there's the, the electrolytes are a separate, a separate blend as well, which I take all these before I train and while I'm training. And, uh, that's right. I did give you the beef protein. We have beef protein just for anybody who cares. We have whey protein. We have beef protein. We have vegetarian protein, uh, powders, of course. I also find that if you blend everything, but the protein powder first, then slowly blend the protein powder at the end. It doesn't get as frothy. Hmm. Okay. And maybe less bothersome for some, for the stomach, less bothersome for the stomach. Excuse me. And maybe less bothersome for the stomach. Brackets. This helps with the whey and the pea proteins as well. My question is how soon after workout in minutes, for example, should you have, should you be having carbohydrates and protein? Okay. I'll talk about this more in detail, but I will just answer this in a nutshell. Have it within an hour after you train. Okay. Have it within 60 minutes. Have it with like latest 60 minutes. Try to get it within half an hour. Okay. All right. Additional comments, questions. Thank you. You are most welcome. And thank you for your kind compliments. All right. Message of the day. Message of the day. On this day, 65. All right. Being challenged in life is inevitable. Being defeated is optional. Being challenged in, in life is inevitable. Being defeated is optional. I'll say it one more time. Being challenged in life is inevitable. Being defeated is optional. Keep going towards what is important to you. Keep working towards whatever it is that you would like to achieve, whatever that, whatever it is that is important to you, do not give up on whatever it is. Okay. I'm going to really, really recommend that you do that. 
because I think it's really, really important. If it's important to you, then we might as well keep striving towards it, right? Positive energy, positive vibes, believe in yourself, and for the love of God, give some gratitude. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Five videos to go. See you guys.